Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Sorry, I was mute. Okay, hello, how are you? Oh, I'm tired, but I'm here with my good attitude, always. Okay, no problem. Oh, Very how good. about you? Fine, fine. I guess I'm kind of tired, but it's okay because today is the last day of class, right, for this week. Uh, and oh, next no. week, yeah, next week, only two days, right? Yeah, it's only two days? Yes, Monday and Tuesday. Oh, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank well, God. <laughs> Thank God. Because I, I'm going to start with the university. And I don't know if the first week of March I have to start. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to be a little bit busy. Yeah, for that reason, I have to, I have to take my class. I don't know. I am between Monday and Thursday because um, that will be my day off. It could be. Okay, I understand. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, yes, it will be better like if you organize your time first, right? And then if you want to, you can continue, right? Yeah, so I'm going to take the class during the morning, I think. And mm -hmm. I'm going to finish my job at three, half o'clock. Maybe it's possible. Mm -hmm. And then I have time to make my homework and be here, I think. Okay, very good. Really good. Probably, uh, yeah, you will be able to organize. Uh, you just need to be, like, uh, very careful with everything, and I guess you will be able to make it. <laughs> Is I, I can solve as a busy person <laughs> doing <laughs> <all> my life. <laughs> okay, very good. And you're so going I, to... I, I said when I started this year, it was like, a, it, this is will be my busy, busy year because I, I'm going to work a lot. Yes, exactly. Yes, because to have a job and to have the university is yeah. it's difficult. It's yeah, difficult. it's totally difficult. So, for example, in my case, I had to um take calls during seven out seven and a half hours during all the day, and now I am in nesting. I am taking calls to eight a.m. till four p.m. It is like a mm. <laughs> and you can you can and you can find different kind of accent and people and humor of people is like a, oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, exactly. But hopefully you will be able to handle it, okay? Hopefully. Mm. And so <laughs> sometimes it's like a, I want to send you to the China, but I cannot do it. <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly. Well, let's see right now. Um, as I was saying to Elida, thank you for coming here, Kimberly, Irma, and Tania. Today is the last day of classes, but for this week, right? Para esta semana. Mañana no hay clase, ¿verdad? Don, um, so you, you don't have to connect. You don't have to do homework. I guess, can, creo que no voy a dejar tarea. So, thank you. Uh, yes, no homework. So on Monday and Tuesday will be the last days, right, for this section, para este módulo. Terminamos el martes, okay? So we only have three days, you see? We finish really fast. Solo tres días más y ya. So, uh, we're going... You will continue gi given, given this uh, schedule? Mm, I, I don't know. I don't know because they, they change, right? Le, le cambian bastante los maestros a ustedes, ¿verdad? No, no? no last time I, I take... Um, other schedule i had i had a teacher but the schedule was other oh what time did you have from 8 to 9 p.m oh yes ah uh, yes yes i always work at night right so yeah probably yeah for that reason and i was with a uh, i don't know gabriel teacher something like that okay um, but oh uh, in this case uh, i I said something like, "I'm not. I'm going to take the 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 last schedule for me." <laughs> <laughs> the last schedule because I'm very yeah. busy. You said, 
Yeah, okay. for that reason. When, for that reason, I hear. But okay, okay, okay. I will make the the subscription again because I want to continue the study here. Okay, very good, very good. Yes, I think that you will be able to continue if you organize. And I don't know if I will be, but I, I always work at night, right? So probably, we don't know yet. You okay. have to send the, the information that the schedule that you want to, that you that you get uh, with us because I love it the way that you are teaching us, really. Okay, yes, actually I try, I try, right? I try to organize and plan everything. So you can have a different activities. Trato de poner bastantes diferentes actividades, right? So you for that reason, yeah. And I remember well, well, the last teacher that I had, it was just only um theory, 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 theory. It was like a two word with the time, and and you are making different kind of activities. It's like a, a okay, you got my attention, sir. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, that's what that's what I heard before, like uh sometimes they they said ah oh, just a platform we just did the platform the exercises and that's it right but i think that you need to practice more right so that's what i try to do different activities but welcome yeah. <laughs> yes awesome. good. okay very good so welcome everyone kimberly irma tanya christian and elida thank you for being here um, today we are going to begin with, um, uh, as you already know, we don't have exams, right? But try to complete the platform in the final exam. Ya solo tenemos tres días. So uh, try to complete the platform. Today we are going to just uh, a review ab about time contrast, okay? So we studied last week, no, last week, no, this week, right? This week about past, present, and future, right? past uh, for contrast of time right so i think that you don't you didn't have any problem with it any with this anymore uh remember that in past we have regular verbs and irregular verbs así que como consejo estudien los verbos regulares e irregulares verdad como consejo traten de hacer ahí su listita o o traten de repasarlos verdad and also we check the present right verbs in present and the future will with will and going to right and also with some expression like next month or might right might that is a modal verb plus the verb and we have um a different uh, different sentences and different examples right for example the past and uh, not many people used to have a cell phone right used to what is the meaning of used to ¿Se acuerdan de esa frase? Used to? Solía. Solía, exactly. Not many people used to have a cell phone. Our communications were not very good, right? Or did people walk more or less in the past, right? So we use the past to contrast the present, right? Also for the present, we can use uh, the simple present and the present continuous, but we can use also the present continuous for the future. So this is just a little review that we are doing right now. And these are some examples, right? For example, when did people travel by horse and carriage? About a hundred years ago, right? About a hundred years ago. Como hace 100 años. Eso se traduce about a hundred years ago. When might doctors find a cure for the flu? ¿Cuándo podrían encontrar los doctores una cura para la gripe, la influenza. In the next 50 years, probably, right? When did the first man go to the moon? About 35 years ago. And when is everyone going to have a computer at home? Soon. I don't know. I think that everybody eh, has a computer nowadays in, the, in, their, in their houses, but, well, most of, most, right? Most of the people. And also we check the uh, conditional, right? ¿Cuál era la condicional que estudiamos? ¿Qué número era? La primera, first la conditional. segunda? Exactly, first conditional, exactly. So uh, we were checking the first conditional, the if, la condición, y la main clause, right? If uh, plus the subject, plus the verb in present, plus the complement, common, plus subject, plus model, plus verb, in base form, right? 
and the model could be will, may, or might, right? Este es solo un cuadro, así como resumiendo, right? And this is the first conditional, right? If Chris wins the keynote, he will go on a cruise. If he goes on a cruise, he may meet a lot of beautiful women. But if he doesn't meet a beautiful woman, he will not have any stories to tell his friends. So this is just um, the first condition, right? Una condición y hacíamos una predicción en el futuro, algo que probablemente iba a pasar, ¿verdad? Y eso lo estudiamos la vez pasada. Examples. If I feel energetic, Elida, can you tell me one sentence with if I feel energetic with the first conditional? Okay. 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 Let me see, teacher, because I have problems with my vision right now. Okay. No problem. <laughs> if I feel energetic, uh, I will be able to make um, more activities. Very good. I will be able to make more activities to do more. Very good. Kimberly. Number two, if I get married. If I get married, I will be happy. Very good. If I get married, I will be happy. Number three, Irma, if I get a call. Irma, are you there? Irma Raquel? Garcia de Monterrosa. I guess I think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so first conditional. If I get a call, I I will. Uh, I had a call. Mm -hmm. I I will probably not can go to the beach. Okay, if I get a call. I won't go to the beach. Very good. Uh, uh, okay. I won't. Exactly. Very good, Irma. Tanya, if I lose weight. I lose weight. Uh, I just feel it in there. I will feel better. Very good. If I lose weight, I will feel a lot better. Very good. And Christian Vladimir, if I lose touch with my friends. Christian, are you there? Christian Avalos Serrano. Hello, hello, teacher. Sorry, sorry. Hello, okay. Uh, okay, uh -huh. okay. If I lose touch with my friends, uh, I will be alone. I will be alone. Very good. If I lose touch with my friends, I will be alone. Perfect. I see that you don't have any questions about this first conditional. So uh, we're going to continue, right? So these were some examples, right? If I feel energetic, I might go for a walk. If I feel relaxed, I might sleep better. If I get married, I'll have to save money. If I get a call, I may have to stay in bed. If I lose weight, I feel more energetic. If I lose touch with my friends, I might feel very lonely. If I quit dieting, I probably gain weight. And if I quit exercising, I might get in bad shape. So those are, are more examples, okay? So we have unexpected consequences also, right? Let's see here. Yes, I guess that in this section, we are going to talk about work, working, right? So um, possible event and consequences. So that's what we were talking about uh, last time, right? If I buy a large dog, for example, I feel safer in your home. If I fall in love, I feel better. Uh, you will feel better about yourself or I feel jealous sometimes. If you go on a diet, you'll, you'll feel hungry a lot. If you inherit a lot of money, 
you will be able to buy expensive clothes. Or if you move to a foreign country, you will have to learn a new language. And we have this, right? We have unexpected consequences. And this would be like the same, right? The, the first condition, right? The if clause and the consequence. Consequence in the future that we can predict or not. So I guess that everything's clear with that. I just wanted to have to show you a review. And uh, today we are going to talk about work. Okay, jobs, right? Job skills. What is a job skills? What is a skill? Guess on that skill. Habilidad. Habilidad, exactly. Do we need skills for a job? Necesitamos tener habilidades? Yeah. Yes, right. For example, speak English, right? Can you speak English? Yes, right. No. No. <laughs> Tell me, what is your level of English? That is the first thing, right? ¿Cuál es un nivel yeah. de inglés advanced, What? right? Me is a B1, intermediate. Intermediate. Okay, you can say yeah. intermediate. Some people say basic. Lo que aprendí en la escuela, right? So very good. And uh, we will have different kind of jobs, right? Vamos a, a aprender a decir de qué trabajamos o de qué quisiéramos trabajar. So uh, it says here, can you use uh, the tw 21st century skills? So these are some questions that in uh, the 21st century skills that we can develop, right? For example, can you use technology to find the information you need? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, right. Yes, I think that everybody or almost everybody is able to, to look for information on the internet. Uh, can you evaluate the information you find? Mm, mm -hmm. That is a little bit more difficult, right? Yeah. Yes. Like, If it is true or if it is not true, right? Si es verdad la información o no. O si es, it's a valuable information or not, right? Another one. Do you work well with different kinds of people? True. True. Do you work well with different kind of people, Elida? Yeah. But something okay. is like a, um, for my, my own purposes yeah okay yes you need to get alone right because you you never know what what kind of people are you going to work with uh kimberly you also mentioned that you have a job uh do you think that do you work well with different kind of people yeah and sometimes it's kind of difficult but i'm trying Yes, it's kind of difficult. What What is uh, like the most difficult thing about uh, being with different kind of people? Uh, the character. How do you say character? Yeah, the character, the personality. Uh, okay, the personality. Because okay. we have uh -huh. different personality. Exactly. Uh -huh. There are serious people shy people a very talkative people right yes. and and you what kind of people are you like you're talkative or shy or reserved and sometimes i'm shy but sometimes i'm talkative <laughs> okay it depends good. it depends with the person that i i feel better Okay, very good. It, yes, it depends on the situation, right? Sometimes you, you have to be shy, you have to be quiet. Sometimes you have to talk, right? You have to ask questions. It is correct, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Different, it says the next one, can you communicate with people from different cultures? Christian Vladimir, do you think that can you communicate with people from different cultures? Like it will be easy or difficult for you? Uh, difficult. Why? Um, maybe I don't know, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Casi no he tenido la oportunidad, quizás, de, de socializar así con, 
con personas de diferentes culturas. Yes, that, that, that is a good question. That is a good answer, sorry. That is a good answer. I, it's because I don't, I, 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 I haven't had the opportunity to meet people from different cultures, right? So I don't know how I am going to react. And that is true, right? For example, uh, we are not used to here in the country, we are used to seeing people from United States or European people, right? Gente blanca, que uno dice son gringos, ¿verdad? Vienen aquí a visitar. Uno está acostumbrado a verlos, pero no a, a gente de otras culturas. Por ejemplo, Chinese people, um, people from uh, Russia or people from Iraq, people from different countries, right? They have different ways to dress, different religions. So yes, if we don't, probably can be like a cultural shock, cult, shock cultural, right? Very good. Let's see, Tanya. Are you good at analyzing and solving problems? Yes or no? It depends. It depends on what? Depends. On the problem, depends. right? Depends the problem. Depends. Um, yes. But, but do you usually solve problems? Usualmente usted resuelve problemas que le ponen o algún, o se siente así como muy preocupada, mm. worried. No, 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 no resuelvo problemas. You, you solve, you solve, it. okay, you're a problem solver, okay, very good. So, because some people, they, they feel worried, preocupados, right? They don't know what to do, no saben qué hacer. So, that, that is the, the problem, yeah. But if you analyze the things and you calm down, probably you can solve the problem, perfect. And Irma, can you de develop new ideas, Irma? Um, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. When was okay. the last time or, or what kind of ideas do you come to your mind? Um, for example, a bad cook. Ah, oh, very good. Yeah, so you're, yeah. you're a, a good, a, you're a good cook. You cook many things. Yeah. Yeah. Examples. I like what I like watch videos in YouTube. Okay, very good. Yes, that's good, right? Yes, you you need to you need to be very creative with food, actually. And ¿qué es lo último que cocinó? What is the last thing that you cook that you watch or that you try, Irma? Um, probé hacer carne con brócoli, zanahoria. Okay, very good. Broccoli and vegetables and meat. Okay, very good. And carrot and carrot. Very good. Perfect. Perfect. You see, yeah, that's you can develop new ideas. It depends on the field, right? Depende de, de, de donde estemos trabajando el campo, right? But you can develop new ideas. And do you enjoy learning new things? That is probably some question that can ask you in a job interview, right? Probably. Do you enjoy learning new things? Tell me about yourself, etc. right? So those are the things that we are going to study in this section. Tell me about the last travel with your family. Mm -hmm. What did you do on vacation? Yeah, something like that. Exactly, exactly, Elida. Do you enjoy learning new things, Elida? Mm, well, I am a multitasking person, so I consider myself as a, I can learn by myself everything uh, about English, about new books, new kind of information, mm -hmm. and I definitely can describe myself as a, a long wolf in this case, because I like me, have different kind of, of knowledge in my life, so definitely I can describe myself as a talker, as a multitasking person for that for the things, yeah, really. Okay, very good, very good, perfect. So you see, uh, that's a way that you can you can answer these kind of questions in a in a in a job interview. Very good. And we yeah, have different. They, they, they <laughs> ask you everything about this, but the first question that they always ask you it is, "Tell me about yourself." Definitely. 
Exactly. Yeah, tell me about yourself. Tell me tell me your story. Oh, how do, you, do you see yourself from? in five years? How do you see yourself in two years or something like that? Exactly. And you don't have to say, oh, I see myself traveling around the world. No, they don't want to hear that. They, yes, like exactly. A, so I want to, I, I see myself working as a supervisor in your company. Just like in that. your company. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Working for you right in five years. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Very good. Very good. You have experience in this. Very good. So let's see here. It says eight important job skills. Eight, right? And uh, let's see, here are some skills that employers look for. Empleador, employers, right? So uh, as we already mentioned, can you solve problems? Do you work well with people? Can you use a computer? Can you teach others how to do things? Are you good at math and science? Can you manage money well? Do you speak other languages? And can you manage other people, right? Because managing people, it's... Uh, it's it's kind of difficult, right? As Kimberly said, right? It, it personalities and different things. But for you, what kind of skills are needed for a good employee? Para alguien que está aplicando un trabajo, ¿qué, qué skills tiene que tener? ¿Qué habilidades? Um, okay. Talkative. Talkative. Uh huh. Talk, talk active. Yeah. Responsible. Responsible. Uh huh. Organize. Organize. Yeah. Creativity. Creativity. So creative. Uh huh. What else? Mm. Well, I don't know if it's a quality, but when you are speaking with someone else you have to say that you are a good listener a good About listener sales and, and customer care they are always questioning you like listen people to solve the problems and just like that hmm. exactly exactly actually it depends on the position right depende de la posición right uh but for example if you're selling or if you have to talk to people or if you are uh, seeing people every day you have to be talkative right or probably creative or a good listener, right? And yeah. responsible, right? And organized also, right? Very good, very good, very if good skill. Are, so if you are talking about or guest assistance or a, a customer assistant, you have to be organized and responsible. And yes. if you are talking about a uh, sales department and you have to be a good listener and you have to be creative with the, the answers that you're going to, to help with the people that you're going to, to give because they always are changing everything around the things that you are doing. <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. Say, and also, as you said, right, for customer service and for sales, yeah, you have to be a very good listener. You have, you have to be careful with, with people. Yeah. Very Definitely. good, very, very good, very good. So today, I think that we have some experience. So we're going to listen to a conversation. Uh, let's see this conversation because it's not here, but I think that uh, we're going to practice it. Let me see if I'm able to load it. Unit 10, I like working with people. Page 64, exercise two. Can you listen to it? Yes. Okay, yes. I will play it, okay? And then we are going to practice. Conversation. I love playing video games. Part A. Listen and practice. What are you doing this summer? Nothing much. I'm broke. I need to find a job. So do I. Have you seen anything interesting? No, not yet. Why don't you get a job at your uncle's restaurant? No way. They're open evenings and weekends, and I hate working on weekends. Well, I don't mind working on weekends. Besides, I really enjoy working with people. 
do you think he would give me a job? Why don't you go over this weekend and talk to him? Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, I found one for you. Video game tester. That sounds like fun. I love playing video games. I'll check that one out. Page six. Okay, very good. Do you have any question about this conversation? Preguntas de la conversación. Alguna palabra que no se sepan? What is the meaning? No way. What is the meaning of? No way. No way. Oh, mm -hmm. no way. Is uh, there is no possibility, right? For example, they ask, uh, why don't you get a job at your uncle's restaurant? No way, no hay manera, verdad? No way, no possibility. It's not possible, no. So that's a, a, another way to say no, right? It's no way. Another one? Uh, what is besides? Besides. Besides is, let's see here. Oh, it says, well, I don't mind working on weekends. Besides, I really enjoy working with people. Um, además, verdad? Besides. Yeah. I don't, I don't mind. Parte. A la par, yes. Eh, eh, exacto, a la par de. But in this case, it's besides, uh, además, verdad? Además, me gusta, de verdad, me gusta trabajar con gente. Besides, very good. Okay. Another one? Okay, no, no other questions. Okay, broke, you already know what broke is, right? I am broke. Yeah. No money, I'm right? I am important. Yeah. Yes, I am important. I, I need to find a job. I am broke, right? Yeah. See. Yes, I, I guess that tester, he, he's looking for a job. It says video game tester. What is a tester? A tester. So it's like a, I don't know how to say it, that in Spanish. Pruebas. Yes, mm. como Pruebas. He, él va, uh -huh, él va oh, a probar God. los video games, right? He will be a tester. Yeah. Exactly, very good. And because he, he says, that sounds like fun. I love play video games. I'll check that one out. Very good. So you see, it's really easy, right? When we know the words. So let's listen to the rest of the conversation. What is one problem with the job? What does Jeff decide to do? Okay, so we are going to listen and then we are going to answer these questions, right? What is the problem with the job and what does he decide to do? Let's listen. 64, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What is one problem with the job? What does Jeff decide to do? What do they say about the job? Let's see. You must have experience using different devices and platforms because you have to test the games to see if there are any bugs. And you need to be able to work well with a team. That's no problem. Look, it says that sometimes you may need to work overtime and on weekends. Well, that is a problem. But the pay is really good, and I think you'd enjoy it. You've got a point. I guess it is an interesting opportunity. Yeah, I'll apply for it. Okay, very good. So are, are you able to answer the questions, or do you want to listen to it again? ¿Pudieron contestar las preguntas? Again, teacher, please. Again, okay. Let's see. You must have experience using different devices and platforms because you have to test the games to problem with the job. What does Jeff decide to do? What do they say about the job? Let's see. You must have experience using different devices and platforms because you have to test the games to see if there are any bugs and you need to be able to work well with a team. That's no problem. Look, it says that sometimes you may need to work overtime and on weekends. Well, that is a problem. But the pay is really good, and I think you'd enjoy it. You've got a point. 
I guess it is an interesting opportunity. Yeah, I'll apply for it. Okay, very good. Now I think it's clear, right? What was the problem with his job, with his test for video game? Work many times on weekends? Exactly. They had to work extra time, overtime, right? And on weekends. So probably one day they're, go they're going to say, hey, come on Monday or come on Sunday, right? Or Saturday, right? Exactly. That was the problem. And he didn't want to do that. And what does Jeff, uh, Jeff decide to do at the end? He's going to apply or not? He will apply for the job or he won't apply? Yes, right. Yes. yes, exactly. Yes, he will apply for the job because he thinks that it will be a very good, interesting opportunity. Very good. I'm going to read the conversation one more time and then we're going to practice it, okay? Remember that when you listen to these kind of conversations, cuando escuchan así conversaciones o busquen en internet, eh, traten de escuchar conversaciones que sean parecidas a las reales, ¿verdad? And then try to imitate, a traten de imitar what you heard. So um, I'm going to read it and then we're going to practice it. It says, what are you doing this summer? Nothing much. I'm broke. I need to find a job. So do I. Have you seen anything interesting? No, not yet. Why don't you get a job at your uncle's restaurant? No way. They're open evenings and weekends, and I hate working on weekends. Well, I don't mind working on weekends. Besides. I really enjoy working with people. Do you think he will give me a job? Why don't you go over this weekend and talk to him? Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, I found one for you. Video game tester. That sounds like fun. I love playing video games. I'll check that one out. Okay, that's what we are going to practice. I need two volunteers. Dos voluntarios para practicar... La conversación, por favor. Two volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, Kimberly. Kimberly will be my, and Irma will be Jeff. You can go ahead. What are you doing this summer? Not much. I broke. I need to find a job. So do I. Seen anything interesting? No, not yet. Why don't you get a job at your uncle's restaurant? No, why? They're open evenings and weekends, and I hate working on weekends. Well, I don't mind working on weekends. Besides, I really enjoy working with people. Do you think? He will give me a job. Why don't you go over this weekend and talk to him? Yeah, I'll I'll do that. Oh, I found one for you, video game tester. That sounds like fun. I love playing video games. I check that one out. Very good. Perfect. Very good. Okay, remember, I need to find a job and what else? Yes, I guess that was the only one, but very good, very good practice. Let's see someone else. Uh, dos más, the last ones, los últimos dos. Okay, me. Okay, I, Christian I and Ellie, okay. okay. So you will be my Ellie and Jeff will be Christian. Okay. 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 <clears throat> what are you doing this summer? Nothing much, I broke. I need to find a job. Um, so do I. Have you seen any interesting? Anything interesting? Mm, no, not yet. Why don't you get a job um, at your uncle's restaurant? No way. They are open evenings and weekends. And I hate working on weekends. 
Well, I don't mind working on weekends. Besides, I really enjoy working with people. Do you think he will give me a job? Uh, why don't you go over this weekend and talk to him? Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, I found one for you. Video game tester. That sounds like fun. I love play video games. I'll check that one out. One out. Very good, very good, perfect, very good. I think that we have Im improved a lot since uh, the beginning. So I really like that, very good, perfect. Let's see here. Um, this one is another conversation, but this one we are going to read it right only. It's really similar, I guess. It says, I'm so broke, right? It's very similar. I really need to find a job. So do I. What is the meaning of so do I? ¿Qué significa so do Yo I? También. Yo también, exactly. Yo también. And they uh, keep keep on talking, right? Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No, thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. I'm not good at selling, right? Well, I okay. am. Uh -huh. Well, I am. Yo sí, verdad. Yo sí, verdad. Well, I am. ¿Cómo digo yo sí, verdad? Well, I am. Sí, well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling. And I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at the sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. So that is uh, the conversation. And um, we have these parts, right? I'm not good at selling. Good at, right? I like traveling. Traveling. I don't mind working. Working. So we are going to check these words. Como pueden ver, estas palabras terminan en ING. Y estas son las que vamos a ver. Selling, traveling, working. ¿Qué tipo de palabras son, verdad? ¿Cómo las vamos a ocupar? Y también respuestas, verdad? So do I. Well, I am, right? So am I también, right? So am I. So we are going to practice this later. So today we are going to... Um, we are going to study gerunds, right? Gerundios. Gerunds are ing words, right? Son como las palabras que están como ing, no son eh, tiempos de, de verbo, ¿verdad? Como el presente continuo. I am running. I am uh, eating, right? Esos son el presente continuo. El gerundio no es el, el presente continuo. Son nada más... Eh, no son verbos, sino que representan otra cosa, ¿verdad? Puede ser un, un nombre, una acción, una idea, etc. For example, en la conversación anterior decían, I like traveling. Traveling termina en ING, entonces ese eh, lo podemos identificar como gerund, gerundio. I hate working on weekends. También miramos eso en la, en la conversación anterior. I hate working hate working working is another gerund i'm good at using a computer good at right using using is another gerund so we have affirmative statements with gerund and also negative los podemos utilizar también en las oraciones negativas verdad i don't mind working long hours i'm not good at selling i can stand making mistakes ¿verdad? y cómo sabemos cuándo ocupar los teacher ¿Cómo sé yo cuando, si yo no sé ni eso, ni del gerund, no sé nada? Okay, so we are going to go right now to that, that place. It says other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. So tenemos verbos que después, justo después de ese verbo, tenemos que utilizar un gerund. Por ejemplo, like. I like traveling. I like walking. I like watching movies. So you see? I like, el verbo like, gustar, después de eso podemos utilizar un gerund. También es hate, odiar, ¿verdad? I hate working on weekends. I hate 
eating soup, right? No me gusta comer sopa. I hate eating soup. I hate working uh, in the morning, right? At 6 a.m. I hate that, right? I hate working. So después de hate, también tenemos que utilizar un gerón o también good at. I am good at uh, repairing computers. I am good at speaking English. I am good at cooking. ¿Verdad? Podemos utilizar un gerón. Y aquí dice que hay otros verbos que eh, son seguidos por un gerundio como love. El contrario de hate, de odiar, es love, amar o que me encanta algo. For example, I love, I love spending time with my friends. I love reading books. I love, um, I don't know, um, playing the guitar, right? So, después de love va un gerundio. También enjoy, disfrutar. I enjoy watching movies. I enjoy going to the cinema, right? I enjoy going. So, ponemos el otro verbo en ing. Y eso ya es un gerundio. Or be interested in. I am interested in, um, I don't know, uh, preparing food, right? I'm, I am interested. Interested. Estoy interesado. No es interesting, right? Interesting, no. Interesante, no. Interested. Interesado. I am interested in. Y usamos el, el German. And we have um, <clears throat> show responses, right? Tenemos aquí las respuestas de los gerunds. For example, if I tell you, I like traveling. Me gusta viajar, ¿verdad? So do I. A mí también, ¿verdad? So do I. I hate working on weekends. So do I. A mí también. No me gusta. Me odio, ¿verdad? Odio eso. Yo también odio eso. So do I. I am good at using a computer. So am I. Okay. So why do we use do in one answer and why do we use am in another one ¿Por qué usamos do en una respuesta y por qué usamos am en la otra ahí cómo podemos saber cuál vamos a usar who knows quién sabe porque es algo que está haciendo <laughs> exacto estamos haciendo exacto uh, something like that very good Irma very good uh, for example si yo uso el verbo to be, que es I am, ¿verdad? Voy a responder con el verbo to be. I am good at using a computer. Soy muy bueno usando la computadora. Yo también. So am I. Entonces, si yo quiero decir so am I, eh, tengo que responder con I am, pero la otra persona me estaba diciendo, por ejemplo, con el verbo to be, I am. Pero si uso otro verbo, si estoy haciendo otra cosa con otro verbo que no es I am, entonces se voy a utilizar do, ¿verdad? I like traveling, so do I. I hate working, so do I. Para decirlo en negativo, ¿cómo vamos a decirlo? Oh, I don't. Really, I like it. Or gee, I am not, right? I am not. Ahí con el verbo to be siempre, I am not, it's okay. Or so am I, agree, right? Or I don't, right? I like traveling. I don't. I don't like traveling, right? And that's it. Y tenemos otras respuestas, ¿verdad? Para estar de acuerdo o desacuerdo con alguien. For example, I can say, I don't mind working long, long hours. No me importa trabajar largas horas. Y usamos neither. Neither do I. Tampoco a mí. Neither do I. I am not good at selling. Neither am I. Tampoco yo. No soy bueno en las ventas. Tampoco yo. I can stand making mistakes. No soporto hacer errores. I can stand making mistakes. Tampoco yo. Neither can I. Como pueden ver, si yo la oración la digo con can't y también quiero decir tampoco yo, tengo que usar can, ¿verdad? Si la oración la dicen con I am, y yo quiero decir tampoco yo, neither I am I, right? O si usan don't, ¿verdad? I don't mind working long hours, neither do I, ¿verdad? So it depends. We have to be careful. Ahí tenemos que tener cuidado. Pero eh, si queremos estar en desacuerdo con otra persona, we want to disagree, we can say, well, I do, right? 
I don't mind working long hours. No me importa trabajar a uh, largas horas. Well, I do. A mí se me importa, ¿verdad? I do. I'm not good at selling. I am. O sea, yo no, yo no soy bueno en vender, en ventas. Yo sí, ¿verdad? I am. I can stand making mistakes. Oh, I don't mind. No me importa hacer errores, ¿verdad? I don't mind. So that is another way to say I don't mind. Uh, no, me, no, no, no. It's not that serious for me, right? It's not a problem. No es un problema para mí. So uh, we have to be careful. And uh, how are we going to learn this? These responses or these things by practicing, ¿verdad? Practicando, haciendo oraciones, haciendo conversaciones, etc. Okay, so these are the responses that we have here. Estas son las respuestas. Agree, right? So do I, so am I, so can I. With does, we can do, we can do it with does. So does he. So is he. So can it. Or so do we. So are you. So can they. You see, we can use it with different pronouns. Podemos utilizarlos con diferentes pronombres. Para decir yo también, ¿verdad? I do too. It's okay if I say I do too. I, I, it's complicated. So do I or so am I. So you can use I do too, right? I am too. I can too. Pueden utilizar esto también. Oh, I don't like it's confusing. So does he. So he does too, right? She is too. It can too. We do too. You are too. Or they can too. También, ¿verdad? Para decir yo también. Y para decir yo tampoco, podemos decir neither do I. Neither am I, or neither can I, or I don't either, I'm not either, I can't either. Aquí también, neither does he, neither is she, neither can it, he doesn't either, she's not either, it can't either. Or neither do we, neither are you, neither can they, we don't either, you are not either, they can't either. Podemos decirlo de las dos maneras, aquí está invertido. Y en la otra, no, ¿verdad? Yes, Irma. Quizás que si respondo neither do I o I don't give es lo mismo, lo puedo usar de la otra manera. Exactly, como usted se sienta más cómoda. Neither do I, I don't either, cualquiera. Exactly. Okay. Exactly, very good, very good question. Okay, so as you can see, it's easy, right? Pero tenemos que practicarlo, ¿verdad? We have to practice, right? We are going to practice in a while. Vamos a practicar. Y también vamos a practicar los gerunds, ¿verdad? For example, si yo digo, I enjoy working on sales. Yo disfruto trabajar en ventas, ¿verdad? Something that is not true, right? <laughs> I, I hate working on sales. But this is the example. I enjoy working on sales. Eh, disfruto trabajar en ventas. Let's see, how can I say yo también? ¿Cómo me dirían yo también? How can I say that? So am I. So do I, working on sales. So do I, exactly. So do I, exactly. Remember, cuando uso el verbo to be, pongo so am I. Pero cuando son otros verbos como enjoy, hate, love, so do I. Very good. Let's see, another one. So do I, right? That is the correct one. So do I. Or I do too, right? I do too. For example, if I say I like working night shift. Me gusta trabajar en los turnos de noche, ¿verdad? Las horas nocturnas. I like working night shifts. How can I say yo también? So do I. So do I, exactly. Y yo tampoco, yo no. Yo no, a mí no me gusta. How, how can I say that? Uh, neither do I. Um, neither do I es cuando yo digo I don't like. Ok. Cuando yo digo no me gusta, ah, tampoco a mí, ¿verdad? Cuando digo a mí me gusta, ah, también a mí, ¿verdad? Pero si en lo contrario, si digo a mí me gusta, a mí no me gusta. O sea, están como opuestos, ¿verdad? Disagreeing. I don't, right? Solo, solo digo así, I don't, I don't like it, I don't, eso es suficiente. 
But in this case, si estamos uh, agreeing, si estamos de acuerdo, uh, por ejemplo, this I G I don't, right? G I don't. If I am, I'm saying I don't like it. But si estoy de acuerdo, puedo decir so do I. Correcto. So do I is correcto. ¿En qué caso usamos el neither nor I? Neither do I. Cuando no, yo digo neither nor I. Neither nor I. Ajá. Uh -huh. Neither nor I. O oh, either nor I, algo así. Either, either or. Nor, N O R, nor I. Let me see because neither nor. Es que, uh -huh. es que neither nor es como decir ni esto ni lo otro, ¿verdad? Neither okay. nor, ni esto okay. ni lo otro, como que. Como ni que el de yo, acuerdo ni el desacuerdo. Uh, es como si yo le dijera, uh, what do you want, Ellie? Do you want to work on sales or do you want to work in customer service? <laughs> neither nor, ni uno ni el otro, neither nor. Okay. Así. Está bien. Está bien, así. Está bien. Exactly. So neither nor, ni uno ni el otro. No me gustan los dos. Okay. Very good. Let's see another one. I can get in, I can get in to work late. Neither can I. So in this case, aquí estamos, eh, well, I can get in to work late, como que no me gusta ¿verdad? llegar tarde. I can get in to work late. Neither can I, ¿verdad? Aquí, aquí sí podemos ver que tampoco a mí. Como por ejemplo, I can get in to work late. No puedo llegar tarde al trabajo. Neither can I, tampoco yo, ¿verdad? I'm interested in using my language skills. Estoy interesado en utilizar mis habilidades del lenguaje, ¿verdad? I'm interested in using my language skills. ¿Cómo puedo decir yo también? Miren que está utilizando el verbo to be, ¿verdad? I am. So, exactly. am I. so am I. Exactly. So if it is I am or I am, it's so am I, right? Very good. Perfect. So this is just this is just uh, agreeing or disagreeing, right? Let's see here. Como les dije que no íbamos a hacer eh, tarea, solo vamos a explicar esto la última vez y el lunes creo que vamos a tener que hacer más ejemplos, okay? So Gerund's short responses, right? Los gerundios, vamos a estudiar dos cosas al mismo tiempo, parece. Como los gerundios y las short responses, right? I love playing video games. So do I, right? Si yo estoy de acuerdo. Si yo estoy en desacuerdo, I don't. That's it. I hate working on weekends. So do I, yo también. Really? I like it, right? A mí sí me gusta, ¿verdad? Trabajar en los weekends. I'm good at solving problems. So am I. Yo también. Pero si yo no, oh, I am not, right? Or I'm not. So, I don't mind working on uh, evenings. No me importa trabajar las noches. Neither do I. A mí tampoco me importa, ¿verdad? Neither do I. I do. A mí sí me importa, right? I do. I'm not good at selling. No soy bueno eh, vendiendo en ventas. Neither am I. Yo tampoco. Well, I am. Yo sí. Yo sí soy bueno, ¿verdad? I can stand commuting. No me gusta viajar con alguien más, ¿verdad? Para el trabajo, commuting. Neither can I. Or I don't mind, ¿verdad? I don't mind. So we have different uh, options, right? To agree or disagree. So I recommend you to practice this. Traten de practicar esto porque el lunes vamos a practicar, ¿verdad? Y los gerunds, ¿verdad? Teacher, do you, do you have or do we have more um, more verbs that are followed by gerunds? Hay más verbos que son seguidos por gerunds, por gerundios? Sí. We have more. We have this long list, right? You see? Admit, advise, anticipate, acknowledge, appreciate, avoid, bear, begin, complete, consider, defer, delay, deny, discuss, and dislike. Entonces, todos estos verbos uh, son algunos de los que siguen gerundios. Después de esos verbos podemos eh, escribir 
gerundios, ¿verdad? Aquí solo nos ponen tres, ¿verdad? Like, enjoy, and be interested. Pero podemos empezar por esos tres. Like, enjoy, be interested, hate, or love, ¿verdad? Esos son fáciles. Algo que odiamos hacer o algo que nos gusta hacer. But if we, uh, if we want more, uh, you can investigate more, right? Pueden investigar más. I, here we have examples, right? Admit, admitir. He was embarrassed to admit making a mistake. You see, making is el gerundio, you see? He advised applying at once, applying. I didn't anticipate having to do the cooking myself, having. Uh, when I was younger, cuando estaba estudiando uh, o miraba estos textos en inglés, yo decía, ¿y por qué le ponen ing si no lleva el verbo to be para el presente continuo? Pero eran gerundios. Y la regla es que después de estos verbos tenemos que utilizar un gerundio. Y esa era la regla. Yo no la sabía y por eso me confundía. Pero traten de eh, empezar con verbos pequeños, con verbos comunes como gustar, ¿verdad? I like spending time with my family. I love watching horror movies. I love watching horror movies. Or I hate, right? I hate working early in the morning. I hate working or I, I can't stand, ¿verdad? No soporto. I can't stand. That is another phrase. Traten de aprender estas frases que hemos aprendido hoy. Y we are going to practice tomorrow. Uh, no, not tomorrow. On Monday, okay? Vamos a practicar el lunes. Do you have any question right now? No, teacher. No, very interesting, right? Very good. A lot of grammar, right, today? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but no worries. On Monday, we are going to practice and we are going to see different things, okay? So okay. if you don't have any question, I will see you on Monday, okay? Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. For you have a nice weekend. Teacher. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.